A lot of those certifications which you can get this year to upskill your portfolio as far as DevOps or cloud computing is concerned. In this video, I'll be covering some key certifications which you can get this year as a DevOps engineer. All some certifications which, if added to your portfolio, you have the opportunity to land a dream job this year. If possible, you might want to register for some of these certifications such that your job search journey this year will be smooth. Oh, well, if you are already in the industry and you want to increase your relevance as a DevOps engineer, you want to take some of these extra certifications to increase your portfolio. DevOps and cloud computing is a backbone to modern day technology and there's a need for experienced engineers to implement these solutions for a whole lot of customers. For some companies, having a certification gives them the assurance that you are an expert in whatever implementation which you'll be doing in their environment. The very first certification which I want to recommend to you is the Amazon Web Service Certified DevOps Engineer Professional. If you have experience on Amazon Web Service or if you've been doing a lot of work on the Amazon Web Service platform as a DevOps engineer to prove your relevance in implementing Amazon Web Service related solutions as a DevOps engineer, you might want to consider getting the AWS DevOps engineer professional certification the AWS certified DevOps engineer professional certification showcases individuals technical expertise in provisioning operating and managing distributed applications on the AWS platform and with this certification as listed on the AWS official certification page job listings requiring these certifications have increased by 52 percent as of october 2021 so that means that a lot of companies that are posting out that they need talent to implement aws solutions on their environment they need experts who have the aws certified devops engineer professional certification this certification costs 300 dollars and to end the certification you need to take and pass the aws certified devops engineer exam the dop co2 exam which is a combination of multiple choice and multiple response questions. Basically, those who can take this exam are people who have experience developing code in at least one high-level programming language or both underst have understanding or people who have understanding of modern development and operation processes and methodologies or people who have the ability to define and deploy monitoring metrics and logging systems on AWS. And there are a lot of resources which you can use. They have the AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional Exam Guide which is free and the AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional Official Practice Exam Question Set which is free. And the second certification we have on our list is a Google Cloud DevOps Engineer. If you have experience implementing solutions, DevOps related solutions on the Google Cloud platform, you might want to consider taking the Google Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer certification, which assesses your ability to bootstrap a Google Cloud organization for DevOps, then the ability to build and implement CI/CD pipelines for a service, the ability to implement service monitoring strategies to optimize service performance and other related services on the google cloud the google cloud devops engineer certification is two hours that's actually last two hours for your TV certification and the certification cost is 200 dollars you need to have three years of experience including one year designing and managing production systems using Google Cloud. There's equally a lot of resources which you can use to access to get yourself ready for the Google Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer certification. The third relevant certification which you want to consider having this year, if you have experience on Microsoft Azure Cloud, is the Microsoft Certified DevOps Engineer Expert. The Microsoft Certified DevOps Engineer Expert certification measures your skills in configuring processes and communication, in designing and implementing source control, in design and implementation of build and release pipelines in developing a security and compliance plan and why not and in implementing and in implementing an instrumentation strategy so if you want to show yourself as a certified devops engineer expert on microsoft azure you might want to consider taking the prerequisite courses before the certification which is the microsoft certified azure administrator associate and the microsoft certified azure developer associate which gives you the higher edge or which gives you a competitive advantage in taking the designing and implementing Microsoft DevOps solutions on Microsoft Azure. And of course, after taking the designing and implementing Microsoft DevOps solutions examination, you then have the possibility to grab the Microsoft Certified DevOps Engineer Professional Certification.
Microservices is one of the DevOps practices which companies are currently implementing in their environment as a DevOps-based practice. And Kubernetes consists of one of the main tools that is used to manage microservice applications. You having a certification related to microservices or to Kubernetes gives you a competitive edge in applying for a job this year. The next certification which we will be looking at is the Certified Kubernetes Administrator. The Certified Kubernetes Administrator program provides assurance that certified Kubernetes administrators have the skills and knowledge and competence to perform the responsibilities of Kubernetes administrators. The certified Kubernetes administrator certification comes at a cost of $395 dollars for the exam and who is this certification for so the certification is for those or for kubernetes administrators cloud administrators and other IT professionals who manage kubernetes instances and the certification was created by the linux foundation and the cloud native computing foundation as part of their ongoing effort to help kubernetes ecosystem we also want to take note of some of the domain and competence will be tested in certification which include storage troubleshooting workload and scheduling cluster administration cluster architecture, installation and configuration, service, services and networking, and a whole lot. So the examination is an online or proctored, or you can have those who want to visit or want to write the examination on site. Cloud engineers can use a certification in infrastructure automation to prove their experience managing infrastructure. Cloud engineers can use the Terraform Associate Certification exam from HashiCorp to verify their basic infrastructure automation skills. This basically gives you the possibility to prove your experience in infrastructure automation well in Terraform. So if you have experience in Terraform and you want to prove your experience automating infrastructure using Terraform, you might want to take the HashiCorp Certified Terraform Associate Certification. This certification is a multiple choice online proctored exam that comes at a $70 cost and the objectives of this certification is to understand infrastructure as code concepts is to understand the purpose of infrastructure is to understand the purpose of terraform understand terraform basics use terraform outside of core workflows interact with terraform modules use the core terraform workflow implement and maintain state read and generate and modify configuration and to understand terraform cloud capabilities if you want to prove your experience managing infrastructure as code using terraform you want to consider taking the hashicorp certified terraform associate certification this year and next certification is for administrators managing resources on microsoft azure so we have the microsoft certified azure administrator associate which is for those who have experience managing or administering resources on Microsoft Azure. So the certification basically gives you an opportunity to prove your experience in virtual networks, in storage, in compute, in identity, in security, and in governance. So it also covers experience in operating systems, networking, servers, virtualization. And with this certification, you also have other areas like PowerShell, Azure CLI, Azure Portal, which are key components of managing resources on Microsoft Azure. In this certification, your skills in managing Azure identities and governance, in implementing and managing storage, in deploying and managing Azure comp compute resources, and in implementing and managing virtual networking and monitoring and maintaining Azure resources will be tested. If you are looking forward to administrating resources on Microsoft Azure, you want to consider taking the Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate Certification. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button right away and get subscribed. Watch other videos that I've been producing to help your DevOps and cloud computing journey. The last certification which you have is a Certified Cloud Security Professional Certification, the CCSP. Now, security is one of the key fundamental areas which companies look out for when deploying infrastructure on the cloud. So you want to also get a certification that proves your expertise in managing or in securing infrastructure on the cloud. So the CSP cloud, the certified cloud security professional certification gives you the possibility to prove your experience in securing infrastructure on the cloud. So the main domains covered in this certification are cloud concepts, architecture and design, cloud, cloud data security, cloud platform and infrastructure security, cloud application security, cloud security operation, and legal risks and compliance. So those are some areas that will be tested in this certification. Let me know what certification you want to take in the comment section. I've left the link to all these certifications in the video description. So also visit the video description to have access to the link to all these certifications. If you are not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and visit our other interview preparation videos that will help you if you are currently in the job market.
And why not join my DevOps community with the link in the channel description.